ready to play the piano for you, Big Daddy? No, Excellency, play. What was going on between you and Skipper? Well, you see, Big Daddy. Well. Well, come on, Maggie. Now, you wanted to talk truth upstairs. Well, go ahead. Come on, now, Big Daddy wants to go ahead and tell it. Uh, Skipper d didn't like me. Why, Maggie? Why didn't Skipper like you? You know he was against us getting married. Why, Maggie? Because it meant less freedom for you. Freedom to do what, Maggie? Freedom to run from town to town. Planes, trains, always running. Football practice, playing Now, hard. nobody forced you to come along with us. I didn't expect to spend my honeymoon in the locker room with the boys. Since when did the smell of a man ever injure your sensitive feelings? Football, baby. The idea of football smell. Especially the notions of a professional team. Why, he didn't need any team of his own. He could have gotten a spot on any pro team in the country. You organized your own team on account of Skipper. You're a liar. On account he wasn't good enough to make it on his own. Professional football, Maggie, is a business, not a social club, a business. Oh, you mean the business of making money? Yeah, money. The stuff that your dreams are made of. Why, the Dixie Stars never made a nickel, not from the first day to the last. It wasn't the money, it was the cheers. He laughed at my Sure, the cheers didn't mean anything to me. Uh -huh. But they meant something to you, didn't they? Because they shut you out, and that's what you hate, at being shut out. Not by the crowds, baby. By you. By the man I worshipped. That's why I hated Skipper. You hated him so much that you got him drunk and went to bed with him. Well, is that true? Oh, Big Daddy, you don't think I ravished a football hero. Skipper was drunk. So are you most of the time. I don't seem to make out so well with you. Are you... Are you trying to say that nothing happened between you and Skipper? You know what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know, Maggie. Now, I wasn't there. I couldn't play that Sunday. I wasn't in Chicago. I was in the hospital. Give Chicago. up, Larry. Oh, he played all right. Played his first professional game without Rick. Tell Big Daddy what happened. Go on, go ahead, tell him. You're a sports announcer? Give us a, a running account of the all-American bus. Tell Big Daddy how many times Skipper fumbled and stumbled and fell apart. On offensive, he was useless. On defensive, he was a coward. And it was all over. Chicago 47, Dixie Star 0. Bad great. No. An off day. No. Without you, Skipper was nothing. Outside, big, tough, confident. Inside, pure jelly. You saw the game on TV. You saw what happened. But I didn't see what happened in Skipper's hotel room. That little episode was not on TV. Go ahead, tell Big Daddy why you were in Skipper's room. He was sick. Sick with drink. He wouldn't come out. He busted some furniture and the hotel manager said to stop me before he called the police. So I went to his room. I scratched on his door and begged him to let me in. He was half crazy. Violent and screaming one minute and weak and crying the next. And all the time, scared stiff about you. So I said to him, maybe it was time we forgot about football. Maybe he ought to get a job and let me and Rick along. I thought he'd hit me. He walked toward me. A funny sort of smile on his face. Then he did the strangest thing. He kissed me. That was the first time he'd ever touched me. And then I knew what I was going to do. I'd get rid of Skipper. I'd show Britt that their deep, true friendship was a big lie. 
I'd prove it by showing that Skipper would make love to the wife of his best friend. He didn't need any coaxing. He was more than willing. He even seemed to have the same idea. You're just trying to whitewash it. I'm not. I was trying to win back my husband. It didn't matter how. I would have done anything. Even that. The last second, I, I got panicky. Supposing I lost you instead. Supposing you'd hate me instead of Skipper. So I ran. Nothing happened. I've tried to tell him a hundred times, but he won't let me. Nothing happened. Hallelujah, Saint Maggie. I wanted to get rid of Skipper, but not if it meant losing you. He blames me for Skipper's death. Maybe I got rid of Skipper. Skipper won out anyway. I didn't get rid of him at all. Isn't it an awful joke? 